Hi, I'm Aaron Kinchin, Solutions Architect at Comforte. PCI DSS is an information security standard designed to govern and reduce payment card fraud and also increase the security controls in cardholder environments. It applies to any organization that processes credit or debit card transactions. It's also governed by the PCI Security Standards Council. PCI DSS version 3.2.1 has been in effect since May 2018. However, in March 2025, version 4.0 of the standard will come into effect. So what are the main challenges between the old and the new standard that's coming into play? Well, firstly, organizations must align their security practices against the evolving threats that we have been seeing in cybersecurity today. They must also make PCI DSS compliance a continuous process rather than a point in time process as it has been in the past. So what does non-compliance look like for organizations? Well, organizations that fail to comply face potentially severe fines for their organization. Often, non-compliance is what prompts an investigation into the compliance of your PCI DSS standard. Penalties are calculated based on how long it takes to fix the data breach. For example, if it takes up to three months to fix the data breach, then you could be in line for fines of around $10,000 per month. If it takes between three and six months to fix the data breach, then you could then be in line of fines of up to $50,000 per month. And lastly, if it takes over seven months to fix the data breach in, que in question, then you could be in line for fines of up to $100,000 per month. Now, the fines that we've stated here do not amount to the indirect costs that your organization could be leading towards. For example, cardholders might take out lawsuits against your organization because of a payment fraud or any other suspicious activity that could have happened on their account. You've also got reputational damage, so you could prevent new customers from signing up to your organization. Lastly, you have business disruption and other regulatory fines that could come into play that is gonna increase the costs from a single data breach against your organization. So what can organizations do to limit the exposure and reduce the impact of a data breach? Well, firstly, data-centric security should be a key foundational step into any PCI program. We have the ability to take systems out of scope for audit if the sensitive information, and in particular, the cardholder data is completely protected. This can streamline your processes to comply with different regulations, not only PCI DSS, but also enables you to work with that information in payment systems or fraud and detection systems that you might be using throughout the organization. Now, this is just a brief introduction into what non-compliance could look like for your organization. However, if you want to find out more information, please visit our website.